This general election is considered by many to be the most important in a generation and it is likely to define our country's politics for years to come. The outcome will dictate the path we take with Brexit, the climate crisis and a whole host of domestic policy issues. So we're inviting you to love, pray, vote. Politics plays an important role in how our society is run. It influences our priorities and the opportunities we create in our communities. It enables us to advocate for different values and beliefs, putting them into action through policy making. In John 15, 12, Jesus commands us to love each other as I have loved you. As Christians, we can use our opportunity to engage in politics as a chance to love our neighbor and our world. When we look at the choices put before us in these elections, we can ask, do they offer us the chance to show the deep, all-inclusive, radical love of God? Do they help us to love those around us by amplifying the voices of the marginalised, challenging injustice and working for peace? Do they safeguard the vulnerable, care for creation and welcome the stranger? This is about looking to those around us as we choose how to use our voice. In pursuing God's love in our neighbourhoods, communities and nation, we have the opportunity to build a society where all can flourish. Coming to God in prayer this election season is an opportunity to say, not my will, but yours be done. As we pray, let's ask God to deepen our empathy and awareness of the situations and people around us. Let's reflect on God's promises for creation and what his kingdom on earth might look like and ask that this might shape the decisions that we make. We can also pray for those who might face difficulty through this period for candidates and their families who are in the midst of a volatile political climate, for those who are voiceless in this campaign, children and migrants who aren't represented as voters. Amidst uncertainty, we can pray with Paul in Romans 15. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the simplest and easiest way we can make our voice heard this election. Make sure you've registered to vote by the 26th of November apply for a postal or proxy vote if you need one. And finally, after prayerful consideration, cast your vote for the candidate you want to represent your community in Westminster. But our participation in this election goes beyond the polling station. Between now and election day, you can get involved by attending or organizing a hustings event, showing support for the party or candidate you believe in, listening out for those voices that might not be so easily heard, and learning about the issues and discussing them with those around you. How might you use your vote this election to show love in action? How might you love, pray, vote?